What's up, LOM community? Lockout men outside during the pre-trip. I know y'all don't see me right now, but I'll be in there in a minute, though. All you have to do is stay a minute. Just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. What's going on? Welcome back. Lockout men in the truck. What's shaking, YouTube? What's up, Lockout Men community? Everybody that's watching my videos, thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it, man. I am so freaking excited. It's been, it's been a minute. It's only been a week, but it felt like an eternity uh, getting back into this truck, man. Now that I am back, I'm back to the bag, back to the road back to the grind you know what i'm saying and we're back to the content and we're back to the topics welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back we going what you guys want to talk about we can talk about anything that's what this channel is all about call it the lifestyle channel you know what i'm saying because you know i talk about everything everything so i just want to appreciate all you guys for subscribing all you guys for watching all you guys for hitting that like button you know what i'm saying and hit that bell on the way out the door you feel me you feel me i got my camera set back up i got my 32 inch monitor to help me with my editing now i got my task cam recorder i'm good to go quick update well i am with the new company um i just got finished completing orientation it was a little bit longer than expected you know it was only supposed to be a couple of days but they really wanted me to come out to get a feel of of their of their clients who they run for how to do the paperwork how to do the people net i went from driver tech which is the worst system in the world if you ask me to qualcomm which is to me the best system in the world to people net i'm not sure i'm i'm with people net now there's the people net system um i'm not going to you know i'm not going to show you the truck basically i'm in the international i'm in a pro star i'm in an older model uh it's an automatic uh, they have both manuals and uh, automatics. I am so sick with it right now, y'all. Listen here, listen here. So, I told you guys a little bit about my truck, right? You know, like I said, the truck is it's pretty much bare bones. But check it out, though. Check it out. This bad boy, 70 miles per hour. Enough of all that. So, basically, the... Um, the uh orientation like i said took a took a little bit longer than expected um i went out got a feel now i'm on the grind uh i'm on the grind until uh, for about two maybe three weeks um there's a lot of pros and cons to this company uh more 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 pros than cons i mean you know the cons i can i can i can I can deal with they they hold uh, they hold your check two weeks in a the hole they don't use uh, transflow so they they don't use transflow to the to, um, to send in their paperwork being that I'm a regional driver I will make it back to my home terminal which is Akron and I'll be able to turn my paperwork in for it to be paid that week if I'm out over the road they, they use a scanner they use a scanner, but it's not Transflow. So that's uh, that's something I'm going to have to get used to. Basically, the company is a small company. I mean, you know, it's a mom and pop company. It's a family owned company. Uh, two gen or three generations of, uh, of people that own this company. Um, it's right here in, you know, it's locally in Ohio. I had to do I had to literally do my homework on this company once I found out about it. 
So once I found out about it, get in, got in there, did the damn thing. And the, this company looks like it, it looks like it's driver eccentric. And what I mean by that is they look out for the driver. They make sure that the driver is comfortable. Um, no idle policy. I mean, I, I ran my truck all night comfortably with the AC on. Yeah, the AC, believe it or not. Of course, the truck has a driver cam. It don't have it don't have no other passes except for Easy Pass and the Best Pass. I mean, um, Easy Pass and the Pre Pass. And yes, we can run tolls. So that's no more no more restriction on the tolls. No more no more calling in for a PO for a toll. We get if we need to hit the tolls, we just jump right on that boy and zoom. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I run everything east of I-35. I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing in the Northeast. I run from Ohio to Texas, from Texas back to Ohio. We do the Carolinas. We do a little bit of uh, we do a little bit of Florida, and the farthest that we go Midwest is up to Wisconsin. I am going to miss going to Minnesota. I, I really am. Other than that, there's not much to say about this company. This, you know, like I said, I can't, I can't give, uh, I can't give too much detail because I'm just now starting. I met everybody from the owner to the president to the vice president to the safety director, the, the, the the uh, driver manager director, which he's my driver manager, um, to the recruiter. And another thing about this company before I jump off, I mean, I was going to get going to a topic, but I guess I'll just make this video just to, you know, just give you guys an update. But it's only one recruiter, one, one recruiter for this company, just one my orientation class wasn't even a class it was just it was just me and the and the other and one other driver and he's a rehire so it goes to show you so the drivers that's been here been here for a long time uh the 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 driver that i went out with yesterday been here for like 20 years he been here 20 years the other driver that I went out before, he been here for like six. So the drivers here been here for a long time. The turnover, the turnover here is like, it's like, it's like low, real low. They very, they're, they're a little bit strict. I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you, they're a little bit strict. They don't hire outside of Ohio. So this company is local. They, they only, they only hire within Ohio. So, if you live in the Cleveland area and you're able to look up this company and find it, good for you. Uh, if you live in the Akron area, uh, Canton area, Cincinnati area, they they're strict about their trucks. And what I mean by that. We can't take the trucks home. We we have to take the truck uh, to one of their three terminals. The the either Rooster, Cincinnati. No, not Cincinnati. Either Rooster, Columbus, or Akron. Since I live close to Akron, Akron is the one that I that I take my truck to. This is a new company, a new start. Um, you guys know that I don't like job jumping, so of course I'm going to give this company the the uh the chance that i need another good thing is like i don't know if you guys can see behind me but i don't know if you guys can see behind me but the the cabinet that's right here that's behind the seat i actually had them to take that out they um they they took that out for me so when i get my refrigerator i can pop it right there in that corner so that's it that's about it. That's that's the update, you know, just to keep you guys update, keep you guys updated on what's going on with me. Uh, later on today, I'll come back with another video and we'll jump into a topic or something like that. I'm gone, I ain't coming back nah, nah, nah. But you gon' have to settle with another man yeah, yeah. But when you realize, don't be running back oh, Ain't no sunshine
around when I'm gone.